What's up? What's up? How you guys doing? Um, you know, we came out, felt like we came out really good. Uh, we got up 24 nothing. We was making plays. Uh, felt like we were doing a good job containing the run, um, creating some turnovers. And the second half, uh, we just allowed them to move the ball down the field uh, way, way too much. Um, you know, we had a, a nice play on uh, the goal line, another nice play uh, to stop them from getting that two-point conversion, or it could have been a different game. Um, Obviously, we have to finish better. We have to play better. Uh, but at the end of the day, six and two, with things to clean up, uh, you know, we can uh, be happy about that. Um, maybe they changed up the blocking scheme a little bit, or you know, uh, did some. You know, they did a good job with some of the screen plays that allowed them to get down into the red zone. Um, but I, I think it was us needing to do better and executing plays better. And uh, they did a little tempo. And so we have to, um, you know, line up a little faster, and I'll, I'll take that. I mean, yeah, you, long play right. It's always good to be on a long play right with a win versus a loss. Got the record today. Just quickly, you get a, the most tackles in team history. Um, I'm honored, humble, uh, because. You know, there's a lot of players that came before me, a lot of players that, um, you know, made this organization what it is. So to, uh, you know, pass those guys, it's um, a blessing. I thank my teammates, my coaches. Uh, without them, you know, I wouldn't be so free and being able to make those tackles and those plays. So it's something that, you know, definitely I'm honored for. Uh, we have a lot more to go. So, um, you know, I appreciate it on that long plane right home. But after that, we move forward. The view that fumble that you recovered as they were driving for the touchdown. How big a point is that? It was really big. Um, I just saw, um, I think it was Marquise that uh, caught the ball out, and then I picked it up and trying to run for it, but I got tackled before I could take off. I was going to try. Yeah, I was going to try. I was going to try. Somebody had my legs, and then uh, somebody started trying to grab the ball, so I didn't want to be the guy to fumble it. I think you're asked about this before, but the sweatshirts this year at HBC is what what. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, show my love and support to them. Um, it's kind of crazy because I wore Morehouse last week. I could have wore it this week, um, but it's still love, guys. Uh, but no, I just I feel like, uh, you know, those schools, the HPCUs, deserve a lot of love, and um, I definitely would like to attend one um, in the off season. And so, just showing my love. Um, we just didn't execute um, as well as we did in the first half. They were able to make some plays. Um, you know, I felt like we didn't um, really, you know, need to do a better job tackling. Need to do a better job of just, you know, not allowing them to score. And um, it's a learning experience, you know, for our young guys and for the older guys as well. That um, you know, no matter how many points you're up. Um, the game's not over, and they still want to come back and win this game. So, uh, this DQ it just shows you know the respect those guys have for DQ, uh, how um, you know DQ allows those guys to come out and fight. So it's always respect on this end uh, to that team and DQ. After that first drive, coach kind of called you out for a huddle. What, what kind of went on there after the first drive of the second half? You know, down in school. Yeah, he just said we need to execute. We need to do a better job of um, executing, and it was. You know, not necessarily them beating us. It was we were beating ourselves. So uh, it was giving us a chance to actually win the game by uh, not, you know, shooting ourselves in the foot. Anything else? Sorry. Oh, hold on. You probably asked about the record. Can you say again what it means and how you still not feel a lot more to add to it? Yeah, hopefully that that number continues to grow as I play here. I, um, you know, want to play here for a long time, and uh, it's an honor to. Uh, be able to pass the guys that came before us. I'm thankful for my teammates uh, that helped me, you know, all the D-line. I think it started with Brandon Meanbang. Uh, he talked a lot of trash, so he helped me get my first tackle, though, so appreciate him. But, uh, um, yeah, just humble. I didn't know. KJ told me and then told me I knew. So, technically, I didn't know. 
uh, he came up to me, he's like, two away. I was like, from what? He was like, come on, bro. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he was like, the, the tackle record. I was like, well, you just informed me. And then, yeah, so I knew about it. But I wasn't really focused on it because I feel like I can get two tackles. How much value do you place in today's NFL play with one team? I put a lot of value into it. I think it's, uh, you know, you try to, in a, in a business where uh, it's, it's cutthroat, it's a, you know, it's cool to be able to play with one organization your whole career. I watched guys like Ray Lewis and Brian Erlacher and, and uh, you know, those guys play their career out with um, uh, one team. And it's a little harder, I think, nowadays because of the way the contracts are set up, the way the, the league is to play with one team. So uh, still got a lot, long way to go. But, you know, I think it's uh, something that you should be proud of when you are able to accomplish it. Right now. Say it again. Do you feel like you're as good as you ever were right now? Yeah. I would like to think so. I like to think so. Uh, hold on. Shout out to Quincy. She was watching last time. I didn't say her name. So, Quincy, hello. Thank you. Yeah.